I'm KC, welcome to VTV. Today we'll be meeting with the director of December Boys, Rod Hardy, as well as the star of the film, Daniel Radcliffe. It's very exciting to have them both here in Melbourne. So, welcome to Melbourne, Rod Hardy. Thanks so much, good to be here. Um, well, I saw the film yesterday and it was a fantastic movie. I mean, it's so nice to see a good Australian film. How did you come to be involved in the project? Um, it was introduced to me by a, a producer out of the United States called Jay Sanders. He'd seen a film that I'd made and and, and I was living in Los Angeles and um, he put me together with Mark Rosenberg, the mm -hmm. writer, yep. who's also lived in Australia. So here we had an American in Los Angeles and an Australian in Los Angeles and we came together. And, and, and I like the idea of a, a coming of age tale. Okay. Um, it was based on a book which was an Australian novel. Mm -hmm. uh, we upgraded it somewhat to bring it more into the 2000s in the sense of it being more about teenagers than in the original book it was about young seven, eight, nine year olds. Oh, okay. So uh, it, it needed a, a new edge to it. And we added some characters. I mean, the character of Lucy, mm -hmm. yes. that has, um, you know, Maps has his first sexual experience with. Yes, uh, Teresa Palmer. Teresa Palmer, yeah. We, we, we added that, and, uh, but I think that's, that gives it its own sort of personality. It must be difficult when you're producing something that's based on the book. How do you come to choose what sort of stays in the film and what, what, what comes out of the film? It's a little easier when it's not a number one bestseller. Yep because people didn't really remember a lot about December Boys, the book, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a delightful book. Mm -hmm. um, but, and also, the, you know, it was, it was written 50-odd years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, so you know, it had, it had moved its way out of people's memories. Um, and so that, that makes it easy. If you've got a book that's just been on the, t you know, the top 10 best-selling list, you have great difficulties, because you remember the audience have read it and they've got their own preconceived views, and if you go too far off that, you'll uh, lose them, but I, th I think um, we, we had a chance to make changes that would make the story feel better. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, My pleasure. All the best with the film, and thank we look you. forward to your next picture. Terrific. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Hi, guys. It's Casey here from VTV, and I'm joined by Daniel Radcliffe, the star of December Boys. Congratulations on the picture, Daniel. We had the premiere last night at Rivoli, and that was a huge success, I thought. I know. It was incredible. I mean, we were all sort of amazed and surprised N nobody more so than, than the security guards at the cinema oh, yeah. because who were it turned out dramatically understaffed <laughs> because with no one really ever no you can you can never sort of your expectations are always exceeded by Harry Potter fans and who and it was obviously a lot of Harry Potter fans were there despite it being a different film yep and so we actually had cinema staff that's out there on the barriers as well helping just push them back which is kind of cool and how did you come to get involved in the film obviously it's quite a departure for you um, it is it was something that Originally, uh, for, uh, Freddie Highmore, who is in Finding Neverland and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where he's somebody I've known since he was born. And his mum, who is also my agent, has known me since I was born because she's best friends with my dad for 20 years. Yep. And Sue was sent the script for Freddie to read to possibly play Misty. She obviously said to Rod, have you thought about Daniel Radcliffe for playing Maps in the movie? And, um, and he said no. <laughs> and, um, and then as of that point, you know, that's when the ball started rolling for me and I had a meeting with Rod and we got on really well and we, it was quite clear that we shared a similar vision of the movie. And yeah, everything from there just started, you know, it was a nice sort of domino effect. Well, it's a really pretty film. It's a really mm. enjoyable family movie, I think. Absolutely. So I hope people get along and check it out. So make sure you check out December Boys when it hits cinemas on September 20. Thank you very much for joining us, Daniel. Thank you.